Hello everyone, welcome to Extreme Rules. This is part one here on the 2K24 Universe Mode on the B-Show. My name is Jake. My name is Declan. We are starting things off with none other than the Hardcore Title. Yeah, it's hard to go Extreme Rules without starting with the title that uh, epitomizes it. Yes, and looks like the challenger for the title is none other than one of the three members of Gallus. Yeah, well, they've got their SmackDown Tag Team Championships later on. Ah, it's Wolfie. And it's the man we have not seen in ring action <clears throat> just yet. And what a chance to show off what he can do to everyone, including me. Yep, with Logan Paul. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's Logan. Glowing eyes as usual. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, Wolfie, you don't even see him. Well, you can see him now. And he's not impressed. I thought he was going to do something with it, but he didn't. Oh, well, that didn't go very well for you. <laughs> <laughs> shocking, Logan, shocking. Did you see the microphone? Oh, no! no! He's just sat on the title. Could be yours. Slap, <laughs> slap, kick, kick. And an elbow drop. Yeah, baby. Off the knee. Not the Ooh. knee, and the face. And the face again. Oh look, we had the first introduction of a new referee. No Charles Rose. He's going to get one. Ah, oh, oh. there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the title <coughs> just to pose. You show him, Wolfie. You show him. Oh, and Logan's just fell through the bottom rope this time, and now he's back in the ring. What a guy. Into another sidewalk slam. Oh, you can't throw championship belts. That's a shame. Oh, oh God. Big boot to the back. He jumped out of the way, did Logan Paul. And now going after the knee and retribution. All over the title belt yeah. as well. Do it again. Oh, oh, and the other knee as well. I have no idea. Ah, oh, oh, just a little stomp. Made you think he was going for the knees. Oh. Oh, oh. Put some pepper on that one. Oh. oh. <laughs> sort of missed that. He did, yeah. He did, yeah. Happy guys. Oh, and another big boot. Oh. Yeah. That's that's the taunt. Oh, he threw it. Ooh. That's how you throw a belt. I mean, the belt is the only thing that has come into action so far. <laughs> Why not? It's like Logan's changing that. It's there. They want tables, but they're not going to get it, apparently. <laughs> Shattered on impact. <laughs> well, if the crowd wants a table... Complain enough and you shall receive. Ow. Oh. Can't even see those flurring punches. Where are they? Where were the punches? Gone? Oh. Just took a little too long there. It did. And looks we've even got the exposed ring, uh, like ring posts today. No LED oh, yeah. protection. That's what you get when it's extreme. Just like that. Oh, in Ooh. the corner of the table, around the clock. The chair. Oh, oh bust him open. Logan not able to dodge out of the way of that one. And oh, oh. that was not smart for Wolf. <laughs> no. For the Wolf. Oh. Aim for a kick. Dodged. Ooh, Ooh. sweet neck break on the corner of the chair this time. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh! Oh god! No, oh, he's calling him back up. He is. Oh, point blank range. Yep, and wiping the floor with him. Yeah. Because why not? Logan going back in. His Wolfie comes to his senses. Who senses? We'll never know. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Could it have been unlucky for Mr. Paul. Ooh. Tried to dodge, but unable to get there. Oh! oh. Spike down. Two. Oh. Logan just Where's able to one? kick out. That's something we've learned from Logan in these hardcore matches. The resiliency is... Uh, it's there. Especially for a, a celebrity up-and-comer. Really testing out those ropes as well. Yeah. You never know what they're gonna do. Straight right hand. Sledge hammer. Oh! <laughs> that was more of the, the hand in the face than the sledge hammer. Sledge hammer. <laughs> Just trying to sing Peter Gabriel. Right? Yeah, I love Peter Gabriel, man. Sledge hammer. I don't know any other part of the song, but sledge hammer. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah, baby. Oh, that is a sight. He really didn't like that. Bean goes up. Oh! oh <laughs> Seemingly hitting him with the sledgehammer on the way down. Somehow. Don't know how he hit him with the sledgehammer when Logan was holding it. Oh, big boot. Oh, slide hammer. Just in the guts. Oh, oh God. To the back of the knee. Oh. Running star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best part about these matches. It's just, hold on. Ah, smart Logan. Get in the ring. Now it's time for some trash. Oh, mm. a big boat in return. A massive big boat. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> that cell is so good. <laughs> a little passing kick. Logan can't believe it. For suplex. Oh, stalls. Ah, Wolfgang gets out. And takes out the knee as well. Just for good measure. Oh! oh <laughs> Fold it up. On the trash can. Just like that. Wolfgang's taking control once again. Yes. What's he calling for? The though? secret powerhouse of the. Oh, oh, so that's. Oh. Oh, that's his signature. Okay. Fair enough. Can't argue it. Oh, into the table. Oh, oh another one through the table. Logan crawling to his feet somehow, using the, the ropes as the leverage. Oh. What is this? This is not looking good for Logan oh. Paul! Oh, but he's back up! What the hell's he got there? Oh! oh the brass brass knocks. Knocks. Going up top, we know what he's looking for. And somehow, I don't know. Frog Splash! How he's cheated during a title match, but he still somehow managed to pull out the victory. It wasn't even cheating! Plain view of the ref. Nothing yeah. nothing she could do. It's hardcore rules. The only person that couldn't see it coming was Wolfgang. Yeah. And there he is still. The hardcore champion. Yeah. She's picked that up off the floor, which is where it stayed for the entirety of the match after they kind of traded hitting each other with it. Yeah. Logan didn't even want an entrance here at Extreme Rules, but he's the winner. 
He's the winner. Still the champion. Still the champ. And we continue with the Extreme Rules matches. Up next. It is moving over to Raw now as we have a tag team match. Regular tag team. Yeah, one of the only matches on the card that is not featuring some sort of extreme stipulation. The other one, also the tag team title match. It's almost like tag team ta tag team matches are hard enough as it is. Yes. And there they are, the Viking Raiders. Really earned their spot in this one. Yep, by a... Well, Forfeit? showing up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, by coming to work. By the only people who made it to the ring. See, when you show up to work, good things happen. Yeah. Remember that, kids. Hmm. Is Remember that the lesson we want to be sending out? What? Show up. Good things happen? Oh. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Sometimes. If you look like that, <laughs> good things happen. Yes. Well, people can hardly say no when you look like that. Yeah. Terrified. Of course, it might not be a good thing as they still have to contend with Imperium. Yeah, and uh, they've not exactly had any sort of warm up or anything into this one. They've just yes. done their entrance twice. They haven't actually had a match since the Christmas special when they unsuccessfully challenged Dragon Bait for the titles. So, a. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just tag team championship matches for the Viking Raiders. Yeah. Nothing but championship material. It's not even their fault either. No. We are looking into that. There is an internal investigation. It is ongoing. It will continue mm -hmm. to ongo. Does that make sense? Yeah, it'll continue to ongo. Yeah. Ongo yeah. bongo. Ongoing continuously. What song did Oingo Boingo release? Uh, probably a few. It was, um... His trunks are very small. Yeah, right up there. Mm, his whole ass is hanging out. Like Pamela Anderson. That was Ongo Bongo. That was their song. Small Trunks. Small Trunks. Yeah. I'm doing a little goggle search. <laughs> Please entertain the crowd. Well, uh, I'm not usually used to crowd work. Dead, dead Man's <laughs> where, Party. Where are you guys from? Dead Man's Party. Just another day. Weird Science. Oh, Weird Science. That's the one I was thinking of. Elevator Man. Private Life. Oh no, that's nothing to fear. Oh no, that's the album. Yeah. We yeah, close, get your, get your close, head out of your We close our eyes. Oh. Dead silence. But then how are we going to watch this exciting well, match? That's an ad. Yeah. No, no one wants that. No. Oh, that's enough of that. Yeah. Before we get in trouble. Yep. We get enough views on these as it is. Yes. Whoever's in charge of the Boingo's um, copyright law, just send us an email. Yeah. It's in the channel description. Just hit us up on Snapchat. <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, that's what it's about. The first time we've seen the, uh, the championship graphic tonight since Logan Paul decided he didn't want to have an entrance. Yes, and it's true. So why not? Yeah. And a combined weight of something like 500-something pounds. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Uh, there they are. Yeah. There you go. Now you can see them. Oh, they're still saying them. A lot of, lot of viewer on this one. Yep. Oh, and their opponents weighing a little bit less, but still just as, uh, yeah, integral. Just under five hundred pounds, probably. <laughs> Imperial. It's those two European dudes. Yep. But not the big one, or the little one. We will see or the. the other one. Yeah. I'm just naming all the Europeans I can think <laughs> of. It's not the woman. Yeah, no woman. No cry. Ah, uh, but we've got Jessica Carr as the ref again. Looks like she's uh, she's doing the show tonight. Yep. Why not? Good for her. Yeah. Give the big payout. Not allowed in Wales though, apparently. Mm. Immigration and all that. Yeah. Whoa! STO starts it off. Oh, God, they're just... Oh! Trading clotheslines, but... Oh! 
Ryan in the face. Early cover in this one, only maybe just a certain little energy and some dominance over Ludovic Kazer. Yeah. That other just sucks. Oh, that single one is really, uh, really getting to me today. Yeah. Oh. Just trading. And now, bang! Hey. Reverse DDT, just like that. Oh, and a roll up. Swan, he catch him out early on. No. That can be enough for the champions. No. They have survived tougher battles than that. Barely. What that was from uh, five out there? Oh, oh! Ooh. European uppercut to the back of the head. Spoke about the Europeans. Yeah. Where do you think the Viking Raiders are from? Up north. Somewhere. In general. Yeah. Like the that's north, where the Vikings are from. The North Pole or like Sweden or. Probably Norway. That's where Vikings usually were from. It was like, or just like Canada, or just Canada. <laughs> yeah, Greenland. The famous Greenland Vikings. Like like Russia? That, that's north. Yes. It's in the Northern Hemisphere. Minnesota? <laughs> Pretty north. I mean, everything is north from where we are. I think Chile's south. I think New mm. Zealand's kind of south. New Zealand is kind of south. Well, half of it's more south. Oh, deadlift German! Ooh. And back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> Just very quickly as a big move happens. I'm trying to think what else is... South Africa would be more south. No, it's not. No? Cape of Good Hope in um, Africa is more south. Cape of Good Hope. Yep, that's the most southern point in Africa. That is a great name. Yes. Oh, rope right there. Oop. I think he was going for the uppercut, but didn't realize the extent of the damage he'd done to Eric. Oh! He was still on a knee until getting caught with that massive boot. Still no tags in this tag team match yet. Emphasis on tag and team as we see yeah. the first one. In comes Giovanni. Ah, and of course. The back body job. That's a classic. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Nope. And more blood. That's and you thought this wouldn't be extreme. <laughs> more blood in this one. Than the first match. There's yep. only one buster open in that one. We've already got two. His is right in the middle of his forehead where he's got the, the paint. So you can't really see it. Yeah. Kaiser's is on the side of his head. That one I oh, can see. I'm going to tag out for the Raiders. Only Ivar in the match. So he's taking a little bit of damage and a big body splash. And oh. Spinebuster oh. your own partner into the the uh, hip attack. Yeah. I guess. Oh, good strength by Vinci able to reverse the Irish whip, but Oh, not enough strength there. Can't lift him there. Oh. Oh. That's that running splash. Ooh. Ooh, stump in the knee. Uh, hip drop. Chop him on the hip. Gonna make it a trifecta? Not quite, because Vinci getting out of the way. Little bitch ass. Oh. So he Ooh. brings him in the hard way. One hand. Now, what is this? Oh, oh. world's strongest slam. Big slam. Oh, and another hit. This again. Yep, because he keeps and rolling over. Oof. Oof. Huge yeah. right hook there. Why not go for the pin? It dropped him quickly. One, two. Yeah. Ooh, why is that having to come break it up? Oh, he walked into it. Picked up into. Looks like a. Oh, oh. I thought it was going to be a power slam instead. A gut buster. And dropped him down on something there. Not sure what that was. Did she able to reverse? Trying to oh, find his partner who's not there, still on the outside. 
That's not where you want to be. Navani. Oh. oh God. I have a wrecking house. It is. Why not? As they say, why not? Are looking for that? Rikishi. Oh. Spiked head first. Ooh. <laughs> that could have gone dangerously wrong. Yeah. Good thing she's a great referee and got out of the way. Oh, <laughs> turns it in the spine buster. Okay, I just used all my momentum to... Yep. <laughs> to try to roll out, and it didn't. We need to make him. How is Kaiser on his feet? Oh! How is Kaiser still going? This man has taken so much punishment. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he was feeling something. He just felt a right hand to the face. And a right boot to the ass. And knee. Now slowly getting up. Yeah. Young Eric. She jumps out of the way just in time. So it's weird back. that Kaiser is the larger man. Yeah, he's very tall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, misdirection there. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Hangs him in the ropes. Ooh. Oh. I don't know how he went up and over the second rope, but it is what it is. Now just firing away on the side of the head of Eric. And then the bus can open now. Second rope! Oh. A twisting splash there. Now, taking Ivar off the apron. What is Kaiser looking for this time? <laughs> what, is oh. what is this? Oh. oh! An exploding back suplex. One, oh. two, two, three. Oh. oh. I think he might have landed on his face. Yes, he did. On his neck or something there. That did not look good. He, he no. still wasn't moving. That wow. is a, uh, well, a breathtaking end. Not in the way you'd hope, though. No. As Imperium fight out again, Kaiser somehow, against all odds, still on his feet to yes. win a match for the third time in a row. There must be something in the German water that is just making him just a hoss in every single match he's in. The man something cannot be kept on. down. Men cannot be kept down. So Imperium hold on to their raw, bright red and silvers. As we move to part one's main event. So part one's main event is for the Women's World Championship of SmackDown. As we see two very formidable women on the SmackDown brand go head to head. Yes, some would say the two most successful women on the SmackDown brand. Quite possibly the inaugural and former Women's World Champion, as well as the only woman to hold the SmackDown Women's Championship in this season of Universe. Yeah. Roxanne Perez gets another shot to regain her title. And she faces the Queen of the Ring finalist. And, and current Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. That's the one. Yes. Did you forget her name, or...? No, I just thought you would say it. Pause for dramatic effect. Pause. Beat. Dramatic effect. Yeah. Pause for dramatic effect. Yes, the Judgment Day still hold all the gold that they had available. Uh, falling short still for the World Heavyweight Championship, but everything else is in their grasp, apart from... Logan Paul's Hardcore Championship, which was successfully defended earlier tonight. 
Yes. And we'll see if Rhea can continue to hold on to that gold. Well, especially in a no disqualification match, the second coming of the shovel match. The Roxanne Perez specialty. Uh, well, she did lose the last one. She did. But she lost the first one, and now she's looking for the second one as we see a special Rhea coming out. Drippy black. Nice and dirty for Extreme Rules. Yeah. Not Ooh. afraid to get dirty is Rhea Ripley. We know this. She has uh, been a great champion so far. Yeah. Undefeated on SmackDown. Undefeated since returning uh, from her hiatus after WrestleMania. Yes. Pretty much made her debut in the Queen of the Ring tournament, going almost the entire way, just losing out in the final to eventual winner, Kairi Sane. Um, but the SummerSlam paths were very different for those two. Kairi fell short, Rhea went on to beat Liv Morgan for yes. that championship, being the third woman to hold the Women's World title. Whereas there is only one WWE Women's Champion in history, Asuka, who we will see later tonight. It's uh, it's interesting how things can work out for you despite falling short at a final hurdle. Mm. Just working hard and... Hardly working. Well, working a lot. Yeah. She went through the entire Queen the of the Ring tournament and then she won the winner's bracket and then went on to beat, I believe, Selena Vega for the uh, number one contendership. Yes. Then went on to SummerSlam, defeated Liv Morgan, who in her own right was a great champion. Yeah. The uh, history between the three women, including Roxanne Perez, and that championship is surprisingly intertwined. And yeah. all throughout it, witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, probably the most the, important thing. The curse of black heart at the center of the Women's World Championship. <laughs> yeah, the uh, witchcraft and the... Uh, the Hossing yeah. has become synonymous with the SmackDown Women's Division so far. Between Roxanne and Hare, uh, dubious battles with Cora Jade, mm -hmm. Liv Morgan and her kicking out of everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, Rhea Ripley working her way through the entire roster to become champion. It's been a, uh, a privileged history, really, for that yeah. title. Very few. And it's come full circle. And don't you just love a circle? And I do believe this is the first official meeting between Roxanne and Rhea as well. So That is correct. Finally, all three prongs of the Women's World Championship have been intertwined. We've seen all variants of this match. We just need the, uh, the triple threat one day. Mm. One day. When I, whenever she calls me back. Yeah. And I know what's happening to the former champion so far. That wasn't a personal thing, that is no. purely yeah. business. It was purely business, guys. Although there will be an internal investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Never question the ulterior motives. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Early Ooh, on for Roxanne. Face Buster into a pin. Ah, immediate kick out. And just sort of rolled out of that one with Rhea, not spending too much energy. No. She knows with Roxanne you're going to have to go the distance. We talked about Liv Morgan as a Ooh. horse, but... The resiliency of Roxanne Perez is just to be questioned as well. Yeah. Ooh. Of course, that Pop Rocks comes out of almost nowhere, and it can hit you into absolutely oh. nowhere, as can that kick from Rhea Ripley. Quick cover. Referee not even in position by the time the kick out happens. Ripley with the speed, power, Ooh. and size game. Roxanne, of course, with the speed... And the heart. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, looking for that wheelbarrow face buster again. Oh, and that leg drop doesn't connect for a, a second time. Ooh. Looking for a La Magistral into the cover. This is what Ooh. Roxanne is going to have to do. Use the quickness, use the smaller stature to just sort of get out and under and yeah. away from Rio Ripley, it seems. Duck and weave. Duck, dive, dip, duck and dodge. Yeah. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. Dodge, duck, dip, duck. Five, Oof. Five Ds of Smackdown. Oof. The five Ds of surviving against Rhea Ripley. Yeah. Dodge, dive, dip, duck. Dodge. Dodge, dive, dip, dive, and dodge. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. She hit that leg drop once and it's taken three attempts and she's still not hitting it. For a second time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. 
He just forearmed her in and out of the way. Roxanne is just running the ropes here. No, oh, she's tight. Oh, she slowed down. Oh! Oh, and Ripley going for a shovel. Oh! Oh, oh the size advantage of Ripley. But oh! Roxanne pops him back up. She knows what that shovel feels like. He's uh, all too well knowing what that shovel feels like. Oh! I'm just managing to dodge that. Oh. Oh. This says batter up. Oh, and misses. Oh. <laughs> does not miss that. Does not miss that. Almost like a distraction at first yeah, it's like, shovel. Roxanne's just too short. Yeah, she's too short. She can't hit her with it. Yeah. Ooh. She has to actually swing this Rhea Ripley. <laughs> she cannot hit her with the throw. Oh. Northern Lights. Of course. No rope breaks in this one with the notice qualification in the extreme rules. Uh, rules, I guess. <laughs> Not really calling anything else. Surely you can hit her from there. No? She caught it in her cheeks. She did. Oh, oh she didn't catch that one. <laughs> so she hit the other cheeks. Just, just cheeked up on an extreme rules Ooh. Wednesday. Oh, these two just turning each other inside, outside. Oh. Living La Vida Loca in this one. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, caught the drop kick and finds his stump. As you would. Yeah. These two just reversing everything. These shovels are almost not even coming into play. I say as Rhea Ripley picks one up. Oh! oh. oh, oh, oh finally oh. connects with it. Holy hell. Oh, and she's locking in that inverted cloverleaf. Holding Roxanne up. This one's really going to be a struggle. Referee in great position here. See if Roxanne wants to tap. That left arm is flailing for the ropes, but it will not break the hold. Roxanne's going to have to fight out of it. She's going to have to fight. <laughs> yep, she's going to have to fight. That's the problem. She's fighting real hard to stay in this one. Ripley tugging. Oh, Roxanne just able to flip out of it. She's tucked underneath. Now back on the attack is Roxanne. Almost a second wind. Oh, bounces off the ropes. And his uh, arms just flying everywhere. Hey. Diving clothesline. Sends Ripley into the ropes. Spinning forearm. And, and a tumbleweed. Tumbleweed! Just like that. The, the rock stand combination. One, two. Ripley just able to kick out. Is this for rock stand? Nice done, Hannah. Oh, God. That's <laughs> pressed, though. <laughs> Send her body flying into Rhea Ripley. I don't even know where that other shot went. Oh, oh God. Triple hit was Rhea Ripley. Oh! oh that, that's not a shovel! It's, well, it's some kind of shovel. It sends Ripley into the, the corner. It's certainly a shovel of some kind. You can shovel it into your mouth oh, and snap into a delicious a slim, slim gym. gym. How slim is Jim? We'll find out. What is this? Ooh. The electric chair. Oh, oh on the on Slim Jim. <laughs> How nice of her to give her a delicious taste of Slim Jim. Of Slimmy Jimmy. The slimmest of gins. It'd be funny if you could actually just like eat it. Yeah. <laughs> That Snap noise. into a Slim Jim today. The noise is so funny. Not that one. Wait. Wait. That one. Ho oh, ho! Roxanne! <laughs> Making it out of the ring before the Slim Jim could find home. Oh! 
Oh! Oh, God. I slimmed Jim. You can slim Jim down. Do I have the slim Jim? Thank you. Oh, oh, she dodged it. I think she dodged it. Yeah, she dodged it's it. It's hard to say. The Slim Jim makes a very loud noise. Oh, gets the shovel taken off her. And this, this sharp edge. She's just throwing it away. Yeah. She's sick of these shovels. Ripley says, get these shovels the hell out oh, of my life. Oh, a riptide. Oh, but she's not done with the riptide. She's not done after a riptide. Doesn't even want to pin the former champion instead. Gonna wrench in that submission one more time. Roxanne trying to fight it. Ah, no. But she has to tap out. No hope. Mercifully, Ripley lets go. And still. <laughs> Shovel's oh. still in the corner. <laughs> Shovels are bound. Shovels are bound to the end of Roxanne Perez, it seems. She kept ducking under them. Just. <laughs> With sheer small size. <laughs> Sometimes being small is the best possible scenario, and that yep. is only if you are in a shovels match. Well, unfortunately, the Riptide and the Cloverleaf were not uh, duckable no. from Roxanne, as Ripley still holds on to her Women's World Championship, heading towards Survivor Series and then onwards to. Oh, Rumble at WrestleMania, it seems. Yeah. And that is all the time we have for part one. We have three championship retentions to start off Extreme mm. Rules. My name has been Jake. My name has been Declan. We'll see you for part two. And as always, stay jammy. <laughs>